Hello everyone, welcome to Go Get My Guru. Introduction to .NET. So what is .NET? Is it a language? No, it's not a language. It's a framework designed and maintained by Microsoft. If you are from a non-programming background, this framework word might be new to you. Let me just give a idea about what is framework. Framework consists of large libraries, runtime environment and modules. So these large libraries are nothing but predefined classes which programmer can pick and write their applications. Using .NET framework, we can develop many types of applications like web application, mobile application, desktop applications. This .NET framework was released by Microsoft in the year 2002. .NET framework only confined to the Windows OS. So in 2000, 16. Microsoft came up with another solution to support other operating systems as well and that was named as .NET Core. You may be having a doubt, if it is a .NET is a framework, then what languages can we use to write program in this framework? .NET supports more than 30 plus languages. Some of the languages are C Sharp, F Sharp, J Sharp, VB. So among these languages, most commonly used languages C sharp which is an extension of C++. Now that we have basic idea of what is .NET. Now let's see as a programmer you write a code. So that becomes your source code. Once you write a code your code is compiled. For example as I said .NET supports many languages. So you can write code in C sharp, F sharp, J sharp or VB. It is compiled by language specific compiler. If you are writing a code in C sharp C sharp compiler compiles your code. J sharp compiler compiles your J sharp code. So who takes care of all this? This is everything is taken care in framework. And once your code is compiled, you will get some file. So why do we need a compilation? Because compilation is necessary because machines can only understand zeros and ones. But we are not writing codes in zeros and ones. So we compile our code. After compilation in .NET, machine code is not generated or native code is not generated. Instead, IL code is generated. What is IL here? Intermediate language code or we can call it MSIL. MSIL stands for Microsoft Intermediate Language Code. So this code will be in intermediate language. Either .dll or .exe is generated. Then this is not a machine code. Then who will convert this code to machine code? That is done by CLR. So CLR is the heart of .NET framework. CLR stands for Common Language Runtime. That means it has JIT compiler. So whatever the IL code generated after compilation step, it is given to JIT compiler. JIT is nothing but just in time compiler. So this just in time compiler generates a native code or a machine code specific to your operating system. So what is the advantage of that CLR here? Assume you have written a code in C sharp and another person has written code in F sharp and if your operating system is Windows, JIT compiler converts native code to the underlying operating system that means Windows operating system. If your operating system is Linux operating system then native code is generated with respect to your operating system. Here one thing to observe is it is cross platform. So this is how internally program execution takes place in .NET. As there are some new terms like DLL, IL, as the course progress you will be understanding each of these in detail and Microsoft has come up with a big release in November 2020 that is .NET 5. With .NET 5 all these technologies have come under one platform. So hereafter there is only one .NET platform that is .NET 5 platform. To learn .NET and C Sharp programming stay tuned to our channel and subscribe to our channel for new updates.